Hi guys, one of my subscribers was asking uh, a while ago, how do you end a rock and roll song? Because we've done a few lessons on how to end uh, a boogie woogie piece. We know we've got the kind of these kind of dominant 11 chords. Well, how do you end a rock and roll piece or a rock and roll piano piece? Well, if you're playing rock and roll piano, you're with a band and usually the drummer, the guitarist, the bass player will all be kind of leading up to an ending and you'll kind of do it together as a band. But if you're playing just on your own piano, this is a kind of nice little rock and roll ending riff, which I've used a, a, a lot. And I'll play it first. It uh, goes like this. Okay, it's a kind of nice sort of chromatic one, I'll do it one more time. And it would sound like this, only if you want to come in camera person, just film the, the I'll, I'll, I'll do it slowly first. Okay. So you're kind of... Alright, you could do... I'll show you how to do that riff. It's it's quite simple and it's got a chromatic. Chromatic means going up you know, one step at a time. And in the left hand, let's do the C of G. In the left hand, the notes go like this. Sounds quite nice. So I'll do that one more time. In the left hand, the, the get that up to the F sharp. Then one more time. You have to time it exactly with the right hand. So practice that with your left hand. The right hand goes like this. If you want to come around, camera person. Uh, the right hand is simply this. That's the riff. It's kind of a nice boogie whip riff as well. Do it, sir. One more time. time so you can see it. In fact, I'll do it one more time. Speed it up. Or a variation would be, you can vary it. You can start with two notes. That gives a nice kind of syncopated swing there. So... And together, it would sound like this. So the first note you play is you play the, the C there on its own. And then, so just, that's kind of like the, the start rhythm. One more time. Uh, and remember we were saying very our keys and you do it in G. Uh, Might want to work it out on the other keys as well. So that's kind of a nice little. Uh, that's also a great riff for getting hands together because we know with beginners, even intermediate piano players who are doing boogie, blues, and rock and roll piano, the hands together coordination is is essential. And just doing that riff and perhaps doing it in different keys. have to be accurate how you play that together because if your right hand isn't doing the right rhythm and your left hand isn't in doing the right rhythm it'll sound pretty bad uh, so you do have to be quite strict with your rhythm on doing that riff and it, it's it would sound like this in a rock and roll song you know you kind of all I wanted to share with you today. Learn that riff, even just taking it apart as an exercise and just playing that for 10 minutes a good day will increase your piano skills. As always, give me your questions and comments. Make sure you become my friend on Google+. Plus. Check out the Facebook page and I will talk to you soon. Soon. Well said, Cameron.